Are you an aspiring YouTuber who wants to vlog with your cat? Well, I do believe you're going to need a tripod for that. We have the four best mini tripods narrowed down. I've tested every single one on Earth, and these are the four that you might consider. Hello to you, second angle. Welcome. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. It was supposed to be the five best tripods, by the way. That was put away in a drawer for some reason. Professional confirmed. So as you can see, we have a cascading effect of highest on the table to lowest, kind of. These three look very equal to me, but they all have their pros and cons. I started with this one. This was the ultimate thing I researched for so long, the Siriu 3T35R. This was the longest thing you could get. It's painful to hold. They have these nice, sweet curved bottoms on the other side when it's short, like a punk. So like when you do that, okay, but you just lost all your stuff. Why? This should be rounded on both sides, how dare you? But whatever, I forgive you, you're red. You're red and aluminum. So here's the deal. This is the lightest and cheapest one. Ulanzi MT-16. It folds down super minor. 175 grams for this one and it's the tiniest all the others mantis pod 276 grams nebula 269 very close frickin siriu 403 grams heaviest and shorter than the others 175 and then this one is 317 a little mix kind of short but it compacts down so just getting the physical specs out of the way first, this is the lightest. The Siri U is the heaviest. Mantis Pod is the tallest. Nebula, you were the tallest, but now you're not as tall. You're a middleman, solid, uncomfortable. And then this little freak, the most versatile of the bunch. Let's dive. So the reality with this one, the cheap one, you're stuck with a screw-on tripod thing. Here's the deal. I like backpacks. I like to use these little Ulanzi clips on these little guys. So when I'm not vlogging, this goes on here. Hands-free. I'm walking around. I'm buying stuff. I'm shaking hands. We're doing good stuff to the world. When I want to vlog, in theory, this could be in your super easy to reach side pocket with your frickin' water bottle that you break your shoulder. In theory, it's there. Oh, I need to vlog right now. This is a fun segment waiting to happen. Okay, just give me a second there. Wait there, sir. Wait there, good sir. I'm gonna interview you. Okay, we're on. Boom, look at us. Look at what we're doing here. Extended, you got your frickin' 40 mil equiv lens here. You're vlogging, you're happy. You put away, like, I love this whole system. Cause now this, well, that lens will never be the same. I can put that on one of these tripods at home too. With this clip, it just slides right in there. The Ulanzi Komen tripods, fantastic. So I love this system, which is why some of these aren't good for me anymore because I can't use this on many. So like this is a tripod thing. I would have to take this off and then abandon that whole convenient thing you just witnessed. So while this Ulanzi MT-16 is light and cute, think of this more for your phone. You have your little holder, that's a shoe thing. That's fine. So like, eh, it's a cool and light, but it's not top of the notch. Now the Siri U, while heavy, and cute and red. You can, in theory, use these Ulanzi clips. It's just not quick. It's not a quick release, but you're in there, you're tightened. Ah, versatile. Took a long time. This is taking a while, isn't it? It's no quick release system, but you now have something at least, but it is heavy and you don't have as much reach as a lot of these things. And that is painful. But like it's still worth looking into it's a not bad little thing now the nebula for the longest time this one 
was my jam because it's much lighter than this, but also taller. What I was doing was vlogging with the 24 mm lens, so I wanted the longest thing possible. So this was it, very long, but it also served well as a tabletop thing. But that was before the Ulanzi clips came out, or at least I found out about them. So now that this is same screw hole as this bullshit, you're screwing, it's not ideal anymore. Which brings us to what should be on paper the best with one deal breaking flaw that I do not understand how anybody overlooked that in the meeting room. This is the PGY Tech Mantis second version, V or Z, I forget. It's the tallest, it's versatile, it folds in many different directions. It folds down tiny, a two-way fold, then you're super thick on it, if you want, boom. And it also can hang on the fences like the old Mantis Pod could with this little hook thing. You're hooking onto a fence and you're extending out like a Mantis freak. It looks fantastic. However, a proprietary head that is like, it's like the size of a hot shoe. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Do you have a backpack clip that uses this? Because I doubt it. That's the only deal breaking thing. Like why, why can't I use my Ulanzi clips in this? It should be a regular head, but these companies aren't working together. They're trying to outdo each other instead of cooperation. So we get things that can't be used together. So like I've never seen this type of head. That's not on anything else. I don't know if PGY Tech has big tripods with this same quick release type of thing and a backpack clip. Then you're considering switching over, but it's very, it's plastic. It's a tiny thing. I wouldn't trust like a full frame camera hanging off this little thing. But if you ignore all that, and you're just talking, hey, I got a tripod, it's kind of cool, you want to see it? That's pretty long. That's pretty long. What? Oh, that stupid mantis foldy thing ruined my life right there. You do have to, whoa, how are you doing? You got to tighten some stuff. It's a little awkward. I'm not going to lie to you. PGY Tech is like that. They're complicated. They have like all these features that are fun, but like using it, you're like, mm, how do you do this? So like you're super extended out there. That is fun times. The Canon battery died. When did that happen? How dare you? Oh, you piece of shit. Are we talking like this is the best thing ever? You would have to buy multiple little heads of this to have on all your cameras. Another thing I don't like is you need like an Allen key to tighten this. You're not getting a coin in there. It's designed like it's embedded in a surrounding wall of hell. So like this tiny thing, like there's no way that will even, no, it won't fit on anything else. So like that's the only deal breaking flaw. But if you just use this on a little action cam or something, and it does seem to hold a mirrorless, at least a light one, is comfortable and like super versatile. I just, I can't believe that head. Why'd they do it? So having said all that, the one I recommend, the one I would use the most is just because of these systems, this is the most versatile one, the MT46 by Ulanzi, because it can adapt and then you use their Ulanzi and Komen quick release tripod at home. I have two of them, one's on the desk that the Canon battery died with, and then this one, and then your vloggy one, and then the clips and everything's interchangeable. And these like, they'll fit on any tripod. This is like Arca Swiss type of thing. It's like, it's going on anything. Whereas this is very niche. I don't understand you, but PGY Tech, you're creative. You're creative and I like it the best. It's like the most fun. It's just switching out. I don't know, man. My needs might not be your needs. So like, I'm very different. When I go vlogging, I'm usually buying stuff. I'm going somewhere. I wanna put things away. 
So like this, you would have to kind of fold up. You're doing this, and then that's going in your backpack. And then if something exciting happens, you're missing it because it's not right here. Whereas on the Alonzi system, your camera's right there ready for action. In fact, the ultimate thing is having a wide enough lens where you don't need a tripod and all you need is this. This is your tripod and you take it out then your hand held immediately. Huh? So if you're with the Ulanzi backpack system, you're better off with the MT46 and something like a Siriu because you can use these clips on this, no problem, interchangeable. I just, this one's not there's no advantages to this. It's only heavier. It's about the same height. You'd be much better off with just two of these if you needed more. I don't, I don't see why you're here. So this is awesome. I do really like this Mantis pod, but you needed a better head, an Ulanzi head. Team up sometimes. Work together, come on. So let me know if something new and inventive has come out that has changed this whole game and makes all these irrelevant. Post it down below and I will delete your comment and I will buy it through my own affiliate links. That's illegal and frowned upon, I'll leave. How you doing? Do you agree? Subscribing for more videos? Yeah, like